tracking more clear sky over East Idaho. In fact, over a good portion of the Gem State. We are sandwiched in between two storms, one to our south, mainly just clouds over northern Nevada and northern Utah. And then one way up north, the center of this storm to the north is located way up into Canada, but we are seeing some clouds kind of drift down through big sky country. It's that one that will give us a dose of huge temperature whiplash. But we won't talk about that just yet. Let's just enjoy what we have right now. And what we have right now is wonderful. We're almost 70 down at Salt Lake City, 70 currently over in Boise. Haley up in Blaine County there at 63. Salmon, you're at 63 degrees. A little cooler, closer they get to that storm up into Canada. Cools off a little bit over in Butte at 57. Even cooler in Billings at 46. In fact, Jackson a little warmer than Billings with a current temperature of 49. So the forecast tonight, keep that clear sky going. Uh, temperatures overnight will be a little bit colder than they were last night. A lot of us are going to be freezing cold. But that's not unusual for this time of year. I mean, we've been kind of spoiled the last several nights, so getting a little closer where we typically are, at least for the nighttime temperatures. Pocatello, though, with that said, in town will stay above freezing, along with American Falls with a low of 34. Central Mountains, clear skies all over. Lows will range from the lower 20s to the lower 30s. Mackie tonight, you'll be right at the freezing mark, but if you want colder, is if you would want that, just head over to Stanley. They're looking at low of 21. And for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, colder indeed in Yellowstone with a low of only 13. Uh, Dubois up in Clark County, good afternoon to you. Your low tonight will bottom out at around 30. We got 20s for the rest of us, Island Park at about 24. And then a clear sky for the southeast corner tonight. The only spot that will stay above freezing will be Malad City with a low temperature at 35, but certainly colder in Montpelier, Soda Springs, Lava. You'll be right at the freezing mark and a little bit below that over in Downey and Southern Bannock County. Tomorrow, more sunshine for your fine Thursday and a fine one it will be. Uh, high temperatures lower to upper 60s, even Montpelier. Bear Lake County will be in the 60s, so good news there. More sunshine for the Upper Highlands, Western Wyoming, a little warmer than it was this afternoon. A lot of us will see highs, if not in the 60s, certainly in the 50s. And then for the Central Mountains, we'll keep that sunshine coming. Now, we're going to see a few clouds kind of drift in from the north. That will be in the afternoon, so that's why we'll call it mainly sunny. For the Snake River Plain, look at that sunshine. Almost, almost 70 here in Boca Del Mar, 69, way above average for this time of year. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast reality check for this weekend. Okay, we got 60 on Saturday, bad hair day, chance of rain, but look at the drop. That's 20 degrees, 41 on Saturday, Sunday, and we're still in the hole temperature wise Monday. We try to work our way out of it Tuesday and Wednesday. Idaho Falls even colder. We go from the almost 60 on Saturday to a high of only 39 on Sunday. Now that is definitely temperature whiplash. And then Monday 40s, what's this? What's that white stuff? Wait a minute. Rain and snow possible next Tuesday and Wednesday. What a difference a week will make. Teton area seven day forecast. Uh, ending off the work week really nice. We'll see rain and snow, at least the possibility of that on Saturday. But look how cold, those are the highs. Tw 29 degrees, on, you know, tomorrow it's gonna be in the 50s. Rain and snow Tuesday and Wednesday, probably more snow than anything, at least on Tuesday. And for the Central Mountains, we'll keep the 60s for a couple days. Cooling trend on Saturday, and what a cool, wow, we take a nosedive. Sunday, not only rain, but snow possible, with potential of more of that next Tuesday and Wednesday.